Meanwhile, the Association of Medical Engineering Practitioners of Kenya, AMEC, has called on the government through the Ministry of Health to employ more biomedical engineers in the country to address the acute shortage being witnessed in all public hospitals. AMEC Secretary General Engineer Millicent Alo decried the low number of biomedical engineers in both public and private hospitals, which stands at 600 against the World Health Organization requirement of 7,000. Counties that are really hit and the counties that are doing a bit better. So we are, in, we are contacting the governors. We, we've embarked in a process of contacting the governors to tell them this is the number of uh, biomedical bi engineers in your county and these are the number of hospitals that you're having and this is the recommended standard as per WHO of the number of biomedical engineers that you need to employ in your county. So for you to join an association, it is, uh, it, is, um, it is not a mandatory requirement. And so most people shy away from joining different associations because number one, probably they don't know the reason as to why and because again, you are not a regulatory body, so I join if I want. Um, however, we are working on getting a regulatory body which is going to help regulate the, the medical engineering fraternity so that we have some bit of sanity because right now anybody actually can practice by medical engineering since we don't have a regulatory body. So we still have a challenge of having our members registered and probably what I can say is that we request all the biomedical engineers who are out there, there to come and register in numbers because it is only the numbers that will give us the regulatory body according to the Kenya Healthcare Oversight Authority, KHPOA, they indicate this a particular uh, threshold of numbers that are required for them to give you a regulatory body. So for us, because our membership has not clicked that threshold, we are not able to get that particular regulatory body. We are working together closely to ensure that we get that regulatory body uh, before uh, end of this year.